Welcome everybody, this is... Dancer Shape. Okay guys, we will talk today about something... Very, very important. <laughs> <laughs> very important, which is the, the Milonga Codes. Milonga Codes. Why this is important? Milonga Codes give to you an order, it give to you... Um, freedom. A, a freedom, let's say, a perspective of how you will enjoy the night. Yeah. It's not just, uh, oh, okay, something uh, much away things. No, it's, it's about to respect, yeah. not just the lady, but also the other dancer that, that is in the floor, okay? Yeah, to, to live in society, we always need the uh, codes and some rules that make to all of us enjoy with freedom some space. And the milonga is one of these space so for us, we need to know and respect all the codes, right? So in this lesson, we will work a bit or we show mm -hmm. you uh, the, the important I wanted us. to say something about, about this. Uh, for you ladies, you are the one who teach men to understand in the best way how the Milonga's code should be followed. Um, imagine, just an example. If it's, I'm a man who start dance, I don't know, three months already of tango, and suddenly I decide one night to go to Milonga and I ask, do you want to dance? And he, she said yes. And I, I asked another girl and another girl and another girl, another lady, another lady, another lady. It turns everybody out say yes. that everybody say yes. So imagine that. Three months of dance, my night, my very first <laughs> night of Milonga was a, such a success. Why I will continue? practicing why which is the reason that is giving to me the idea that I we, I didn't do so good that I need to continue practice so there is there is no 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 uh, relation between what it was happened and between what is the reality and you know why are the responsible of, uh, of this you ladies you tell us how much we need to improve our dance by saying a very important and <laughs> useful word, which is? No. And since we said that the, every space need a code, no doesn't mean nothing wrong, right? It's just say, no, I don't want now. And it is your right it's to my, say. It's my right to say no. Uh, and could be for many reasons. Could be because I don't like this music, because I'm a little bit tired, because I'm enjoying just listening to the music, or maybe because I don't know you and I don't know how to dance. And the idea is that all of us go to the milonga to enjoy. So why I will stand up from my table to embrace someone for 12 minutes if I don't know if I will enjoy. So well, well, you, you, well, you will put in the risk your uh, joy, your, moment, your yeah. moment, and dance with someone that after, after you finish the dance, the, the time that you say, you come back to the table and say, oh my God, he yeah. scratched my back and so on. But you know what? You are teaching nothing to this, uh, to this person because he, does, he will not realize that how good he did. So it is important. So here's is gonna be a couple of rules that you will follow, a couple of codes that you will follow, and a couple of uh, advice that you will follow in order to you enjoy uh, the night and also help to the full milonga and be enjoyable. Yeah, this is something very important also that all of us, cre it's not only my good night in tango, if I have a good tanda or not, is that all of us are responsible, like a little, little part of the system. So if I have a good night and I respect the code and he do his own work, this is what makes the milonga uh, be a good place to stay, mm -hmm. to, to enjoy. So first rule that you, will, that you will follow, and this is more to the, um, uh, to the organizer. Sometimes uh, people say, and they put uh, the music so loud that people cannot talk in the milonga. So, you can ask, okay, the music is quite loud, and the organizer used to answer, well, you come to dance, right? So what do you care if it's so loud, the music? You are not coming to talk. Okay, wrong. The milonga is a social place, so you go to dance, and you go to talk with friends, and you go to enjoy the night, but most of the time you, you are not going to the discotheque that, you, that the music is so loud that you cannot even socialize with people. So Milonga is a place to socialize. And here it's a match with something that is very important. You go to the Milonga, it's not necessary that you dance all dance, <laughs> all, all, night day, all night long. 
Yeah. Exactly. Let's say you dance, you enjoy just one tanda, and it was the best that you have done, that you have enjoyed in the evening, and it's okay, feel, feel good with that because it's great. Yeah, like always in the life, we prefer quality instead of quantity. So if uh, you have only one or two tandas, it's more than okay to, to say that you have a good night in the milonga. Even if you don't have tanda, you can enjoy a lot the, the place. Yeah, in the evening also. That doesn't mean that you will not dance all night long. If you want to do it, do it. But be sure that all the, dan the time that you have danced was the best in your life that night, okay? So, and we will go for the second uh, code, which is the cabeceo, okay? There is a few tools that you will, f that you will follow uh, about cabeceo. So that's why we have here our friends, which are the, the tables, let's say, <laughs> She's in one table, the table's ladies, and I'm in the table's men, or even I am my own. An action. <laughs> so, first of all, people think that it is the men, the one who do cabeceo, and you guys are not so wrong. But, but <laughs> it's like that. No, it's actually, it's like that. But here also we see that the one who have the power in the cabeceo, it's the lady. Because even if he try his best uh, to, do, to take my attention, if I'm not looking at him, the cabeceo will not happen. So we can say we are the one who have the last decision, right? Uh, so he, he will looking at me and if I'm not looking at him because I don't want to dance this tanda, or maybe this music I like to dance with another guy, that also can happen, I will not look at him. But if I want, I just look at him, he invites me and I say, yes. Afterwards, you please wait sitting, don't stand up, because guys should stand up, arrive near to your table, now yes. And now I need to be sure that this, the cabeceo was for me, and once I'm sure, I stand up and, and we go. You are ready to go to the te to the pista. To the pista. Okay. So now something that it could happen. Let's say this is the wrong. She doesn't look at me. Okay. You cross all over the the the, the pista. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you want to dance? <laughs> Why? You are forcing, forcing her to say yes. So you, I'm not so sure, this is not good even for you, you're not so sure if she really wants to dance with you. Or you're forcing her to say no and be rude to you. Yeah, this is something that the many ladies tell to me, say to me in the woman's technique, that they don't like to say no, they don't feel comfortable. But of course you will not feel comfortable if he, he came to the table. But if it's me, and he came to invite me to a table before to look at me with cabiseo, I will say with smile, no, thank you. And he need to come back to his table <laughs> without to dance. Another thing that you will not say, and this is more for the lady. So I'm actually look at, at the girl which is behind. Mm -hmm. So I do like this because she was looking at me, but she thought as she's looking at me that I was saying to her, the ca uh, I, I would do it to her, the cabeceo. This could happen. So, please, remember that we have said that you don't stand up before the men arrive to your table? This is, could happen too. <laughs> oh, no, 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 perdón. It's not for you. <laughs> so there is two women standing in this moment. So what can I do? <laughs> Should I say no yeah, to her? Should I say no to her? The both of them get Actually, I was asking the woman who was behind. So it's a compromise for me, and it's a very, very, um, how do you say, embarrassing moment for me, for her, and for the other lady. So please, you never stand up before the men arrive near to you and uh, yeah. confirm that it was you, the one who, eh? let's do it again the proper way, so okay. you don't know, but probably you say yes because you thought it was you, but I will go to the other. Okay. So this is the right way to behave. Okay, you wait. And if you see that the man is passed over you, you just make, pretend that you, nothing was happened. Okay, and you take the another one. Then you will be safe 
that you will not have any embarrassing moment, okay? Yes. What else about cabeceo? Important. Never come back if, it, let's say, this be together. We are a couple, right? In the table. Here's the milonga and so on. We are talking ta 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 Let's say that we pretend we are a couple, right? We are a couple in the milonga. So, something that uh, shouldn't happen in these cases. We are chatting. It's happened. It's happened to you sometimes that you are. It's, I know it's happened to you, but you are in the group, let's say. We are five, five friends here talking, chatting, and so on. And somebody's coming, also a friend of us. Even we know that person. As another person is get into this group? group or bubble. For a while, there is a moment that everybody were like a... Because suddenly, there is a, we create as a, as a community every time that we meet each other, we create a... Energy. A complicity yeah, yeah. bubble and in the moment. When some, something external is coming from outside, whether it's a sound, whether a person, whether it's something happened, suddenly that bubble it gets broke mm -hmm. until... We create a, again a new one. A new yeah. one, which is include this new person, right? So the same has happened here when we are two. Probably we are not a couple, but we are friends talking. For some reason, she doesn't watch anybody because she's more in that night she's focusing be with me talking yeah, and or just listen the music this is another moment that i'm choosing so that's why it's good to say that the woman every time have the right to choose now i'm choosing to stay with him chatting or whatever with all this <laughs> so i will be somebody so, my little yeah. phantom will be, uh, okay. will, will we'll be stay here. here somebody's here and i'm i'm chatting here uh, please chat Blah, 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 blah. Now you can say blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> and suddenly I came here and I do this action. Wrong. But what is even more wrong is that the woman say yes. Say yes? <laughs> this is super wrong. Some, suddenly we are cutting uh, the energy between the couple and also we are being res unrespectful with these men. Plus, if this man is watching to that direction and the man is coming from behind, not even put the face and say, at least, please, I'm sorry. May I ask to the, uh, to the lady to, to dance with me? And another thing is appear here. When I ask this person if I can ask her, doesn't mean she's yours. Do you allow her to dance with me? No. Please, ladies, don't, don't, don't get wrong with this. Yeah, it's a way to take care of us. Doesn't mean that he is the owner of the ladies and he is giving to her permission. No. The only thing is, as I, I will ask her to dance, I ask, excuse me, or, or apologize, because I'm breaking the, 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 moment. the moment here. And I ask if I can ask her. So back in the time, this was the, the situation. And it was only between friends, meaning I was friend of her and friend also of the guy or friend of the couple. So the, the guy up here wait for a moment that they were not uh, talking so deep into the, the conversation. And hello, hello, how, how are you? How are you? May I ask uh, your partner to dance with me? And the guy who was here say, Yes, of course, if she won. And then? Okay, you can ask her, and, and if she won, of course, you can dance with her. Yeah, and again, we, it's have, not my decision. we have the last decision again. Okay. This is was the first example about to how to uh, abort this uh, situation. situation. Yeah. Something, let's say, this guy is the same situation, and, and this guy suddenly, okay, I, I go to the bathroom, and he left. And so she's alone. Somebody will take the, the, uh, the chance that she's alone to ask her to dance. Eh, 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 no. Because somehow <laughs> you was waiting for him to go. Okay? So this is not proper. Don't do it. Because it's, it's quite rude. And please, ladies, also, don't go. Or if you want to be, yes. I, probably I can dance with you, but wait for my partner because I don't want to leave my partner or my my 
my couple alone here, and so on. Something you want to say about this? No, it's okay. It's okay? Some another explanation? Ah, okay, let's say there is two ladies here. Mm -hmm. What about this situation that somebody came and asked you to dance, and uh, you say yeah. no, and okay, what about you? Yeah, this is very rude also. We said already that came to the table is not good because it's put us in a, in a compromise. Uh, but sometimes the leaders came and invite one lady, and for example, I say, no, thank you. He go, he jump into my friend, and he ask, and what about you? And what about you? So this is, uh, this is not nice uh, also. For us, the tanda should be special, we can say. I need, you need to choose the person, and you also need to choose the music. So uh, we need to feel special moment. But it's not because we are a lady. You also need to feel special the music and the moment that we will create together, but because this tanda will never happen again. So we need to be ready to create something very special to enjoy, and it's like magic. Will never happen again. And does it mean that because you like one orchestra and another, you will dance all the time that orchestra? Because some days you are not in the mood to dance that orchestra, okay? Uh, another things that I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to say about this, back in the time she talked about uh, tandas, right before. I remember in my in my days, uh, I remember that I have a partner to dance Pugliese. I had a partner to dance Caló. I had a partner to dance Darienzo. I had a partner to dance Vals, and I had a partner to dance Milonga. Yeah. Sometimes all of them were together in the same, <laughs> the in the same, same milonga. So it was a lucky night for, for me because I was uh, super happy because, oh, she's here, she's here. So as soon as Kahlo, for example, was sounding, took, yeah, let's go. And I knew, I, I knew that I will have uh, the best uh, Kahlo tanda or the best milonga tanda. Some night I was not lucky and probably no all of them uh, was in that night. So mean, means uh, you don't need to dance all the dance, all the tanda with the same ladies, because you want to research for different kind of energies, because it will give it to you different kind of uh, joy. Okay, so this is more an advice than, than, than a rule. Okay, let's go for, for the other samples. Let's go. Okay, how to get into the floor, let's say. Let's say here is the line of the tables, okay? So imagine, normally here's the line of the tables and here's yes. another line of the table. Okay, normally um, there is a, in the corner, there is a corner in, in the floor, okay? So how is the, the right way to get into the floor? Let's say, let's assume that you are at the beginning that you start the tanda at the beginning. So it was 15 seconds of the first uh, tanda, the, or the first tango tanda, okay? So you will not have problem. You go through with the lady that she say yes, so ta da da She invite me, all the things that we have explained, and we start to dance. No problem, but let's say you couldn't make uh, the, um, the, cabeceo the cabeceo or the connection. Because you were very far from her and so on. So you start after the tanda or the ronda was created. Yeah, Let's say the one floor tango, is already moving. One tango after. Let's yeah. say in the second, tanda, uh, the second tango of the tanda. Uh -huh. Or you were distracted and you didn't pay attention. So, how is the... The, um, the, the right way the right way to, to get in. into the So, floor. here's there is a, like a river, fluid. Okay? First of all, if you are... Uh, you go in the middle of the tango, of the second tango. You will, you will go first, but you will not get into wrong sample. Because you yeah. saw here a space between that couple and this couple, okay? Because imagine that the couple are focused in their own dance, they are not paying attention to you. So you need to create a eye contact with those, with the guy actually that is coming here, that is coming here in this direction. The one that is passed already, it's no okay. problem, it's okay. So, you will be here, you probably will embrace to her, but wait. And probably you are embraced, and you show, try to create an eye contact with this couple, show him 
if you are allowed to pass, if he... Uh, Realize that we are here. Yeah, and he let you get in. If it doesn't happen because he didn't see you or he didn't want or he is doing some step that is uh, about to have space, so you wait here, ba -ba -ba -ba, or even, okay, wait, 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 and probably you wait for the next couple. There is a moment that someone will realize that you want to get in, okay? Once that person uh, realize that you want to get in, he will do something like this. Let's say I am, we are the, this couple, so we are dancing, you are dancing, please, like a, you can pass, okay? There is the moment that you little will get into the ronda, okay? And now you are Part in the of fluidity the of the milonga, okay? So don't go through. Eh? Wait for the, it's just like in the highway. When you go in the highway, yeah. you always wait for the one that is coming already fluid, let you get in, right? Yeah, something about the, um, the ronda have inside many rondas, right? The floor like is- Like circles or yeah. concentric circles. The, f the floor is moving like this, but if you see, you can realize that they are going into the center. Uh, we can say that the most experienced dancers are going in the ronda that is outside. And for example, if you have something new to practice or you, or you are quite new in tango, you should go in the center of the ronda. So here, all of us take care of the people who are uh, in the center. So this is also a very useful tool to have in mind. If it's your, your third lesson, we recommend you to don't go out because you are not taking care of all these details that we say that make all of us enjoy the, the place. Exactly. Okay, people used to say that the, the good uh, dancers used to dance one tango per side. <laughs> This was a, wow, if you... We start here. If you start here. For example, right? You start this here and side. you do the fourth tango and you finish in the same place, you can consider yourself that you are a master. Yes. <laughs> but this is something that's happened time to time. But, but it, in my case, it's happened all the time. It's happened because if... Um, the fluidity. If the fluidity of the floor is good, this is another thing. Sometimes when the... We say that the floor is good when the floor is moving. Right? In some milongas, everybody is dancing in their own place and the floor is not moving. So for, for us, this is not a good floor. The good floor is the one who move around and the best dancers are the ones who are able to finish the tanda that is composed by four tangos in the place of the, when you take the lady from the table. But you know what, why this is for? Because of what we, we used to call in the past the esquineros. Esquineros was the couples, or the guy, or the dancer, who ne who arrived to the corner. Esquinero, esquina means uh, corner. corner. Esquinero might be the person who likes to stay in that corner forever and ever. Okay, imagine this. As a, as a, the, the, the milonga is, let's say, it's in a square, right? Or a rectangle. There is all the time this action happen. This space, this corner, or the corners are, all the time, the, the, the space that you have, more space to do something. For example, this corner, we can say, no? Yeah, this, there is a corner here. So, normally, this space is the biggest one you have when you are dancing. So there is people who like to arrive here and like to stay, and stay, and stay, and do things, and do, and move, and that's a move, and stay, and stay, and stay. That person, stop all the ronda that is coming, the fluidity of the ronda. So it's okay that you take, a, a, because it's the right of all, all of us, that you take advantage of this moment. So you stay and try that figure that you learn, that you like and whatever, but go. Yeah. <laughs> Please move, stay there, stay there for a while, but move, let, let the Let fluidity. the other enjoy the same place that you already enjoyed. And you will also enjoy the rest of the uh, order of the, of the bilonga, yes. of the ronda, okay? And something else about the, the previous example that we say that the perfect situation is when we do four sides of the, of the ronda, but suppose that this will not happen, and for example, Fabi, this was my table, he came to here to invite me, and for example, the last tanda finished in this corner, right? 
So which is the right or what the men should do? Okay. Normally, you, you give the, the, the arm and a company scold the lady. You too. Thank you so much. Gracias. And you can so leave. So please don't leave us alone in the center of the floor when the tanda. Yeah, like sometimes it's happened like <laughs> Something a, like this. Gracias. And he left. And I'm alone in the middle of the, of the floor. So eh? please accompany the lady to the, to the table. Yes. What else about, about the coats? Okay, this is an advice. You ladies, please watch all the new guys that you don't, don't recognize. Watch first them how they dance before to say yes in any tanda. If he dance okay, take the, the, the chance, uh, to take the risk to dance with him. Or even better, wait for another friend of you, dance with him first and after <laughs> how he dance. <laughs> No, but it, this is very important. For example, we say at the beginning that the milonga is not only dance, uh, place to just dance. For example, if I go to a new milonga or in, in a new country, in a new city, wherever, I take the time, I'm sitting, and I, the first few tandas, I will just look. Because in this, I will decide with whom, of course, if he like, with whom I will dance later, with whom I will spend my next tanda. Another little advice for you. Let's say that you say yes, you took the risk to say yes to some uh, leader? man, leader. Yeah. But because he was looked like he was okay, or just because you wanted to take the risk. But you realize after the first 30 seconds that it was not a good decision. <laughs> so it's, let's say, the politics rule of uh, Milonga says that you were allowed or you was forced, for sure, uh, of course you're not forced, but let's say you were forced to dance at least two tangos, two tangos of the tanda. And afterwards, you could say, Thank you so much. That will mean for the men that she didn't like for some reason. Probably because I didn't dance good. Or because, because we crash. Or because she felt uh, no safe, or, or probably you cr scratch her back. Doesn't matter, please, you guys don't, uh, why, why you don't want to dance anymore? No. It's you just say, thank you so okay. much. You will feel a bit, little bit, a little bit bad, but what can you do? It's, it's the rule, so. So this means we are finishing the tanda in the middle of the tanda, so we back to the table. Yes, and that doesn't mean that you will not ask her ever again to her. Probably let pass the time, a few months, and after ask her again to dance, she will not say no again, at least because she, probably she was waiting for you improving before to say yes again to you. It's happened to me a few times yeah, that I, I will like people, you say, say. people say to me no, and afterwards uh, they they say to me, uh, yes, okay, or probably they didn't remember, and, and they, they say yes afterwards. So don't worry if they say no at the beginning. With the time, and if you're improving well, it's not just they will say yes, they will, they will show you that they want to dance with you. So keep practicing, keep improving, don't take everything as a... Personal. Yeah, right? as a personal, uh, as a fact also, uh, the fact that you dance all night long doesn't mean that you are a great dancer. Please, guys, keep practicing. This is more because I see in, in our lesson when there is a technique woman, there is a lot of women. And when there is a men technique, there is not too much men in there. Yeah. Maybe about to finish, I would like you to tell us the history when Mingo Pugliese said to you at the beginning of the lesson, when he let you go to Milonga and how was the beginning of this? You and you, you are asking me in yes. like an interview, yes. okay. I would like you to, to say, to tell well, us. Well, I have started with Mingo Pugliese and I said, okay, I, would, I was a dancer professional, professional dancer before to start to dance tango. And then I came to Mingo Pugliese and I said, okay, Mingo, I want to, to, to you to uh, teach me. And he said, okay, I wanted to dance well. Uh -huh. So he said, are you sure? And I said, yes, of course, okay. because I know I can do steps. And I can do figures because I have a good memory. I'm a professional dancer, but I cannot do it in the tango way. I doesn't look like a tango dancer. I look like a folklorical dancer or ballet dancer who do a tango step. And that's what I don't want. <laughs> so he say, OK, but you will do everything what I say. I say, yes. Yeah. So he took me like a one year 
this is exaggerated, it was not one year, but walking and walking and walking and walking and just walking and walking and walking. Giro de tres con sacada, three, six months. And again, go and home again, and again, practice. Again. <laughs> uh, and after, uh, and he told me, okay, I will teach you, but you don't go to the milonga until I, I said to you to go. And I say, okay, whatever, I didn't. <laughs> For me, it was okay. So after, uh, it's passed like a three or four months, he said, okay, now you are allowed to go to milonga, but please arrive early and go late. Don't dance, don't try to dance. Anyway, you don't know. <laughs> but don't do it. He but said don't do it. He gave it to him the right to go to Milonga, but without to dance. You arrive early, he said, and, and say hi to every single one that you cross, <laughs> even the old people. You say, hello, how are you? I'm Fabian. And stay. Just watch. Watch. So I remember I was, uh, I was in, the, in the second line of table of Almagro, which was a, a traditional milonga in those days, or uh, the most uh, popular milonga in those days. I was in the second line of table, and I started to dance, uh, to, to, to drink uh, beer at that moment, because I remember I was asking all the time for Coca-Cola, and it was super expensive. And with two glasses of Coca-Cola, I, I could buy one bottle of beer. Although I didn't like too much beer, I could stay with the beer like all in alone because I arrived at 10 uh, in, in the evening and I went at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. This was like a 25, maybe less uh, years ago. I was so young. Anyway, and Mingo said to me, arrive early and say to everybody, hi, 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 hi. Most of the old people, you say hi, be respectful with them and he, he let me do that, I, like, I don't know, like a year, a year or something. And after one day, he said, okay, now <laughs> you are allowed uh, to dance one tango. And I remember I called one friend that she was an experim experiment, very experiment uh, tango dancer, and she accompanied to me to the milonga that night, and I sit in the first line. <laughs> Pay attention, the first line of table, it was a privileged place. So I went to the first line as a friend of my uh, friend, which is actually is uh, the, the sister of uh, Marila Hermosida. The name is, um, the sorry, of, of the sister Gloria. of Gloria Hermosida, and the name is Mariela. So I was sitting with her, and of course everybody know her. <laughs> All the milongueros came to ask her to dance, and I was there. And and she said, okay, Fabi, you want to dance one tango? She said to me, and one tanda, she said. And I said, okay, let's try. <laughs> and I went, and I jumped to the floor. I, I do, I respect all the rules I have said already. And I danced one tango in the all night. After one year and something, only one tango. And then it was the most, how do you say, beautiful moment of my life. I remember my, my knee was like a shaking <laughs> and and I could dance one tango in the Milonga Almagro, which was like a, the cathedral of tango at that moment, without to crush anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I was so happy. And after it passed the time, and I remember something that, is, that I always associate with this uh, action, which is uh, be respectful with the old people. Uh, Toto Faraldo, one day he came and said to me, no, he introduced <laughs> me, to another friend of him. So I say, hello, how are you, Toto? It's passed already one year from this. And, and he said, I'm Toto Faraldo, and she's I'm me. Fabian. See? And it was this guy, okay, this is, how, uh, how is your name? Uh, Fabian, I said, papa. Ba, ba. Say, I like this, this young guy because he's so respectful. And this was the most, uh, Compliment. 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 The most great compliment that somebody did it to me. So wait for that, guys, because it's coming. It's, it will happen. But why you ask me that, Josefina? Uh, just to, to tell to the people that the, the milonga is not only place to dance. It's like to finish when the, with, with the first idea that we start this chapter. 
uh, that we beg you, we ask you to enjoy the place and to and you respect and respect and to take care of it. We need to we need to be responsible for the place that we are creating, and it's uh, because it's, it's our place. It's our place to enjoy. So okay, I think it's enough. Thank you so much. Gracias. Bye bye. Y todo está en tu corazón.